Hi everyone, with Kelvin here. So let's discuss about weekly contest 160, third question. Maximum length of a concatenate string with unique character. So we are given a array of string, and then we can um, concat any of the string inside the array, and uh, but we still need to result in a unique character inside the concat string. So we need to return the maximum possible length of the concat string itself. So um, First example here, so we have um, three string inside our array. So um, you, you can see he, he, here, if un being concat with ue, um, the concat character will have um, two character of u, which not, end up is not a uh, unit characters anymore for the concat string. So it's uh, not a possible concat. So the possible concat with the longest um, length here is um, un concat with iq or iq concat with ue. So in that case, the result will be four, the longest um, concat string. And take a look on the second example. So C, H, A, R can be concat together, which result in the length of four. Um, C, H, A and A, C, T cannot be concat together since A, C are the, in the C, H, A also. So C, H, A, C, T is not a valid um, concat, but uh, C, H, A, E, R, S is a valid concat so it becomes six and if we try to concat char and then ers it's not a valid concat because char already have r inside so we cannot concat with the ers so the longest one is it's either chaers or acters uh, which result in six and third example here is um, we have a to z in one string and basically that's the, our maximum answer 26 and we don't have any other string to concat uh, anymore yep so how are we going to solve this problem so this is basically a dp problem so um, the key of the dp here is um, from previous um, solve like from pre previous pick how many character is already uh, inside our concat which here i represent using an integer so integer have 32 bits we just want to represent um, a to z is inside our concat string or not so i'm using integer so 26 character can fit into the 32 bits so here the base case is um, if we already finish um, concat everything um, at that case i return a zero because um, this one uh, it represents when we don't have any array of string then what will be the maximum concat so we return zero in that case and here so this is to calculate current character how many uh, the current string how many character it will use up so here um, we get the string of current index and then check whether it's valid or not um, why we need to check this just in case if we have a string that say ACA um, this string itself is already invalid so um, we we cannot um, merge it with any other string so we will just skip in that case uh, so here we iterate through the string and then here um, each character I minus it by a so we can fit it into the current used character um, like um, is it is a already exists or not is b already exists or not until is z already exists or not by offset um, 26 at most uh, for z for example and then we use an uh, or operator so um, when it's not uh, let, let's say a is not there yet it, it's not inside the string then we will uh, the current a we will mark it into the current use character so we have the current use character so we just need to validate with the um, previous concat string which is, which is the use character and we check it with current use character if any of the current use character is already being used before means we cannot concat it so first case here is um, if we decide not to concat it then we just move on to next index and still use the previous use character but if we want to use it there is one condition uh, which um, we need to make sure our current string is valid itself like um, there is no such case like ACA and then we need to make sure when the use character before 
um, concat with the current used character, it's result in zero. Um, so result in zero here means there is no overlap character between the previous concat and current and current string. So if it's valid, then we um, merge them together using an or. So uh, the next use character will be the previous use character plus current use character. And then the answer itself will be the current string length plus the next solve. So next solve will be uh, we increase the index by one and change the use character to um, add up with the current use character. So we will have more character use um, on our next decision. And for the DP itself, um, we store, it, store the output based on the key. So the key here is the use character itself and what is the current index we explore. Because it might um, result in the same number of character being used, but it actually being resulted from um, different string we pick. Yeah, so that's it for this question. Um, thank you for watching. See you on the next weekly contest.